Hello friends, today's question, a blow a boat floating in a water tank is carrying a number of large stones. If the stones are unloaded into water, what will happen to the level of the water? So in this case, uh, this question consists of two cases. First is that the boat is along with the stone and the second case is boat without the stones. So in the first case, this is the only major difference. And in the first case, the total water displaced will be the combination of boat plus stone. And where in the second case, the total water displaced will be the individual combination of the stone as well as the boat. And we know the density of the, you can say, uh, stone is on the higher side as compared to that of water. So this is the major difference between these two and the comparison of the density is going to give us, tell us rather that what is going to happen to the water level. So let us start from the first condition, uh, initial condition rather, that when the water, uh, the amount of water displaced when the stone are in boat. So you can say water displaced when stones are in the boat so under this condition the boat and stone will be acting as one system and they must the water must be displaced in order to balance the weight and the weight will be the combined weight of boat as well as stone so you can say under this condition boat stone system must displace water to balance the total weight balance the total weight so it means the weight of the water displaced will be equal to total weight of boat and the stone system. Therefore, from here we can say weight of water displaced is equal to total weight of boat stone system so therefore we can write that the volume of water displaced volume of water displaced and we can call this as v displacement under loaded condition loaded means that the stones are in the boat so this will be equal to uh, mass of the boat plus mass of the stone divided by density of the water so let us call this as equation number one now we come to the second case when the stones are unloaded into the water so same case but water displaced when stones are unloaded So in the first case, 
the water displaced when the stones are in the boat which means loaded and in the second case we have water displaced when the stones are unloaded that is we can say stones and boat are different system that is they are independent so in this case you can say that the stones are directly thrown in the water so now the water displaced by the stones will be according to their uh, own weight from here we can say when stones are directly thrown in the water the water displaced by them it them means stones according to their own volume rather than the weight that means now the water displaced by the both boat and uh, stone will be independent of each other so you can say that the volume of water displaced consists of it will be consisting of two parts in the first part we are going to have water displaced by the boat alone water displaced by the boat alone and so let me write volume of water rather volume of water volume of water displaced by the boat alone let me call this as v boat and v boat will be equal to mass of the boat and density of the water and the second part is our volume of water displaced by the stone volume of water displaced by the stone based on their own volume based on their Mm, volume and let us call that volume stone which will be equal to mass of the stone divided by density of the stone so it means total water displaced will be the summation of volume of water and volume of the stone you can say from here the total volume of water displaced when stones are unloaded let us call that as we display unloaded 
and that will be equal to volume of boat plus volume of stone we substitute the value we get from here that volume displaced unloaded will be equal to mass of the boat plus density of water plus mass of the stone divided by density of the stone and from equation 1 let me write it here from equation 1 we know volume displaced under loaded condition is equal to mass of boat divided by density of water plus mass of stone divided by density of water now if you make comparison of these two equations we can say that as density of stone is greater than density of water density of stone is greater than density of water so therefore you can say that mass of stone oblique density of stone will be less than mass of stone oblique density of water so this tells us that water displaced in the loaded condition will be more as compared to water displaced under unloaded condition so therefore the water displaced is going to decrease when the stones are unloaded okay. so from here we can say total volume of water displaced decreases when stones are unloaded or unloaded or we can say that as in the question it was asked what will happen to the water level the water level will fall tank water level will fall so this completes the question thank you